Good morning, guys. So this morning, it's Saturday, um, January 20th, and this morning my mom decided to make some breakfast. So she made some bacon. I had one slice, as well as some omelets. Now I decided to have like a Greek style omelet, I guess. I don't know. It's just kind of what I was feeling. So she put in some spinach and some reduced fat feta for me, which was awesome. I got some really cool footage. Um, I tend to get reduced fat feta simply because I notice full fat cheese is sometimes too greasy for me. Um, so I love the reduced fat feta because then it's just not greasy. I love my omelets to have that little brown crust. Next, I have my custom Starbucks cup. Thank you, my Hanu. As well as this natural creamer. Um, I just get this because I try to get, you know, the most natural stuff I can. Tastes really good as well. Um, this is just some bread that I'm going to have with toast for breakfast. So as you can see, that is my full plated breakfast. I also added some strawberries on the side. It's just kind of what I was feeling. And I put a little bit of grass fed butter on my toast. It was quite filling. It was really, really tasty. I definitely recommend trying it. And that's just my Instagram picture. <laughs> and now we're on to meal prepping. I usually meal prep on Wednesday nights or Thursday nights, but it just didn't end up working out too great this week. So what I do for breakfast is I usually make myself egg sandwiches. I love egg sandwiches. They're easy, they're fast, they're cheap. So I have my eggs right there, and I'm just showing that there's six eggs in the pan. I do tend to pop the yolks. These are the eggs I get. I always get free range and certified humane. Once they cooked on one side, I cut them all into their semi-normal egg shapes. I don't really have a good method for this so far. And then I have my toasted English muffins. They don't look very toasted in that angle, but they were perfect. So I just added the cheese and I put two eggs together and then right onto the egg sandwiches. I put them on that big platter so they're able to cool before I put them in little plastic baggies. As you can see there, and you could pop them in the freezer. I usually just pop them in the freezer and take them out the night before. Um, if I don't feel like having that, I just have oatmeal. I also meal prepped some pork chops. They were on sale this week, so I got the all natural one. Next, I'm making a vegetarian mac and cheese casserole. So I had cut up some zucchini. I added some canned tomatoes and some organic extra firm tofu. And obviously cheese. So I just cut them all up, put them in a bowl. Um, my camera died at this point, so that's why some of the footage is kind of weird and I apologize for that. I totally messed up my phone. Um, so that's what it looks like when it's done. It's quite tasty, let me tell you. It's really, really good um, to meal prep because it stays good in the freezer. So when I was meal prepping, I decided to have a diet Snapple. I'm not usually too big on diet drinks, but this is an exception. I also snacked on some of this crunchy vegetable slaw. It's just pretty much like broccoli and veggies. And this is my baby Khan. I have two cats and a puppy. So there's one of my cats. He's a good boy. So for lunch, I decided to have some of that vegetarian mac and cheese casserole. It was very good and very filling. Then we were on our way to the pool. So I ended up making a green smoothie on the way, but I added some chocolate in there. So cacao made it pretty dark. And then for dinner, we ended up going out, so I just decided to get KFC. It's kind of just what I was feeling that day, to be quite honest, and it was quite good. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you liked it, make sure to hit like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know that drill, and I'll see you guys in another time. Toodles! Mwah! Thank you.